when something is outside of you, when you cannot fight or flee, the next biological level for chronic pain is you'll start to actually have muscle tension and nerve sensitivity that tends to amplify. I'm Dr. Amy, your guide for transforming your trauma into your gift. You adapted to life experiences to survive, but you are not your trauma. Join me as I teach the science and biology of trauma that allows us to be strategic, intentional, and organized in your approach to address difficult and painful life experiences that has become your biology. We tend to forget about something called a feedback loop called the nervous system. And you've talked endlessly about it, and I agree with you, and I think that's a big missing component. It's not linear. It's um, bi-directional, it, there's a loop to this, right? I want everyone to write this word down or the sentence down and then chew on it as you're brushing your teeth or as you're sipping your tea. You're not responsible for what shows up. Those negative thoughts, those punishing raw emotions, that physical sensations that puts us into that state of freeze or dorsal vagal or shutdown and dissociation at a severe level, or the flare-ups we might feel to the point where you cannot move or you're in a migraine uh, state. So you're not responsible for what shows up, but you are responsible to how you show up to what showed up. And that's the dynamic of the healing is in that moment when you notice a difficult thought, difficult emotion, or a physical sensation, you have about 90 seconds to engage the brain for retraining. Um, though at the worst moment when you're triggered, it is an opportunity to retrain the brain, uh, the mind, the body, and into a state of safety. Surf your emotions or thoughts or sensations. Just for 90 seconds, you will start to engage in what we call desensitization. The treatment here, the dynamic healing part, is to create safety in micro doses. All of this is so relevant to my practice because I see it every day. And just trying to convince people it's not you and you're not emotionally, mentally, you know, that's, nothing's wrong with you. It's just in your nervous system and it's stored there. And they, they go, oh, you know, the look on their face is like, they're like relieved. Like I'm not judging them. And they're like, oh, you get it. You know, so it's been so incredibly wonderful. When you're in chronic pain and you're in this most severe flare up, you want to start with the breath and have gentle movement. That moves you up the nervous system ladder into sympathetic and gives you the opportunity to go into what we call ventral vagal safety. The body's physiology, the body chemistry makes a huge difference. Safety versus threat is a huge difference in your body's chemical composition. We start with safety and to steal Dr. Arya's term, microdosing safety. And that's why we teach the exercises in that 21 day journey. And we start with safety exercises so that people have the tools in the moment to be able to bring themselves back to that felt sense of safety when they realize they've lost it. My safety physiology simply starts in doing those minor, minor things. We're really not just talking about chronic pain here. We're talking about chronic disease that is inflammation, metabolic based. And the driver of that is the nervous system. And so when we can change our physiology into a safety physiology and using the tools, um, showing up to do the work, like Dr. Arya says, right? You have to show up to do the work to create that, but then that's what actually can change your whole physiology into a safety physiology.